Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Borderwise, and welcome to this weird video, which is in the fun section because it sure as heck isn't a tutorial or anything else. So, little story time. The other day, I was trying to work on uh, making a laser system that could take down the Singularity. Spoiler alert, it didn't go very well. The Singularity has very good laser defense. And... So I got to thinking, okay, so, continuous lasers um, have a lot of AP, but they tend to scatter all over the place. Uh, how do we fix that? How do we, Or how do we compensate for them? So I thought, use more of them. And so what ended up happening uh, after uh, too much caffeine, uh, listening to Ailstorm while I built it, and, um, well, what I ended up with was this. And uh, probably not even worthy of the paint job, but this is a laser broadsider. This might be one of the dumbest things I've ever made, but if you've never made a continuous laser broadsiding thing before, uh, it is horribly ineffective and inefficient. Um, well, not ineffective, it's just not, not efficient in the least. Like, um, for numerous reasons we'll get into, but yeah, this thing, and I should probably... Uh, adjust the paint so you can see what on earth is happening. Uh, this is just lasers, engines, and AI in the front, hydrofoils on the bottom, custom jets on the back, and a few rotors on top because I tried to make this thing into an airship, but I failed. Also the detection is all on one side because it only has lasers on one side. So not only is this a uh, broadsiding laser thing, which is very inadvisable. It has also uh, got all its guns pointing uh, on the right side. Uh, and I mean right side as in opposite from left, not I just realized I could have st stuck stuff in here. I'm a fool, I should have done that. Anyway, um, this is it. And each one of these lasers is not particularly strong. Uh, but there are some successful things. Sustained damage per second is 648 which is not very big, damage per shot, which remember is about, uh, this is a continuous laser, so it's like 40 uh, pulses per second, uh, is about 16. It does have 110 AP, so this thing gets through smoke and shields a lot better than a lot of lasers do. It's horribly inefficient because, well, you really don't need multiple combiners if you're gonna have a big laser system. The reason I did it like that is just to get as much well, I thought you'd get, kind of get um, increasing returns since you've got multiple combiners and lots of lasers scattering all over the place. Pretty sure it doesn't work like that. And of course, you've got the problem is that you need a lot more expensive stuff. So each laser combiner is 100 materials a pop. Each multi-purpose laser is 50 materials a pop. Each frequency doubler is 250 uh, materials. And it's just, this all adds up a lot, so... And, um, the armored la the armored optics as well, which is kind of overkill here, because this thing, by the way, uh, is made of wood, because it's a prototype, I always prototype in wood. Because if you can get a wooden thing working reasonably well, you just upgrade it to metal and alloy, and then you've got something that's properly formidable. And, yeah, so, um, this thing is stupid, but very, very fun, and... Yeah, so I guess the successful, the only successful part about it is that continuous lasers actually play reasonably well with destabilizers, so... I, people are probably going to tell me that storage is a better option for this, but um, storage, so single input cavities and laser storage, they're more expensive than destabilizers, and particularly if you r rig it like this, where it's like not many cavities but just more destabilizers, cavities are... actually cavities are also more expensive than destabilizers, so... In theory, this is a way to get a cheap, effective laser with a lot of AP. It's just make it a continuous laser, really uh, stick a lot of destabilizer on it. Basically, it seems to be a ratio of... Okay, so we've got uh, four 3 meter laser pumps to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's like a four to seven ratio of destabilizers to 3 meter pumps, which I guess uh, one of these things is equivalent to, well, three of those. So, three, six, three, six, nine, twelve. So it's kind of seven to twelve ratio. Like, I don't know, basically the same thing. So, uh, seven to four ratio of destabilizers to three meter pumps, and you've got, well, 
You've got a continuous laser that doesn't rely on storage for its damage, and it's, I guess, slightly cheaper as a direct result. So that's the one teeny tiny success that may or may not actually be true. Um, veteran laser people in the comments, um, I must advise you for your own safety to not facepalm so hard that you concuss yourself because, um, you know, you kind of need your brain to watch the rest of this video, whatever uh, this video consists of. So, and also, what, el what else? What else can we talk about? This thing is, well, I guess it is kind of canoe-like, but, um, I don't know, it's just like, um, I'm learning to love custom jets more and more, and of course, this, uh, Hydrofoils on the underside, and if we do that, this thing bounces along very nicely. And maybe I should make this into my adventure mode graph. Oh yeah, this thing is also kind of expensive for what it can actually do. 139 uh, uh, thousand materials, and well, the thing can take on. Well, it's really it's really good at just sniping way too many uh, planes out of the sky. So let's spawn on a barracuda. Let's see what happens. Let us see what happens. Probably nothing good, because I believe the Barracuda has a flak on it. But yeah, it's, it's a laser th craft, so you can, as you can probably expect, it does, uh, it does terrible things to small flyers, and in, well, it goes at almost 100 meters per second, so it actually outflies a lot of them as well, or outpaces them. But yeah, it's a broadsider, so the split second they, uh... Let's see there. Yeah, we've lost 2% health already. And yeah. So that is kind of fun. It's mostly, it's fun. And yeah, it is set to prioritize things that are... Yeah, that's timed frag shells. That could be a problem for us. Could be a wee bit of a problem for us. Zap. Also, I just love using black lasers like this. They are so fun. I think this thing already got damaged a little bit. Or, I forgot to set the size of the laser properly. Come on. Fire again. What are you doing? Oh, you're getting into the proper broadside range. Come on, fire again. You know you want to. Yay! This is ridiculously fun, and I should point out that the fact it's melting the Barracuda like this is uh, mostly because the Barracuda is made of wood and spit and prayers. And how are we doing? We've only lost 2% health. Also, great redundancy. It's got so many lasers that even if one gets shot off, well, that's okay. I do want you to shoot this gun, though. How about you shoot this thing? It's ignoring me. Great. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Balls. Yep. That is also the problem with having a laser set up like this is because they lose a lot of damage at range because you've got to keep it, the firing arc somewhat reasonable. That firing arc's not particularly good. 26.67 degrees. Not great. So, honestly, 9 times out of 10, you're better off uh, sticking with the good old 2-axis laser. But this is just fun. This is just really fun. Could actually be a good way to just duct tape uh, lasers willy-nilly all over the place. Man, that looks cool. Man, that looks so cool. Look at the Like, I just like this. This is not how the space age is meant to work. But you know what? Who cares? <laughs> Broadsiding laser is fun. Also, it's really weird how you're going for the tail feathers like that. Although, I guess if you do uh, slow it down like that, that'd be nice. Yeah, you gotta take out that advanced cannon, darling. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's gonna hurt your feelings. A lot. Yeah, like that. Come on, fry it. You have more AP than you know what to do with. What is that falling off there? Just cram cannon bits. That's no good. Come on. Fry that advanced cannon. Does the Barracuda have shields? I don't actually remember. There we go. We've basically just went well. Oh, dearie me. Well, that explains um, a lot of things. Yeah, don't make your advanced laser materials uh, out of wood. That's not a good idea. Although you probably knew that already. And... Okay. 
Uh, madam. It, oh, that also exp <laughs> that explains why the lasers weren't doing what I told them. It's because uh, uh, me firing uh, mechanism got shot off. This is very satisfying. It is very satisfying just to have death by a thousand cuts, except it's death by a thousand microwave burns. Because lasers! So yeah, it's um... This thing is hilarious. And like, yeah, I, you know what, I, this is one of those craft in which every so often you just get a dumb idea and you just want to, you know, push through and do it. And this definitely counts as ridiculously dumb idea. What else can we shoot it with? What's something roughly in the same... Oh yeah, this thing can almost take on a plunderer. I say almost. I think it's um, pretty even Steven about... What the... Uh, plunderer, thank you. How about you do what I tell you? We. This is so ridiculous. Oh yeah, oh, I've also got the aim point selection to um, focus on cluster of blocks and focus on individual blocks for like 60 seconds. So it tends to bore a hole straight through things. Assuming it doesn't waste time shooting through the water, which it still does, even though I've told the input selection not to do that. How are we doing? Doing great. How expensive is the plunderer? A little bit more expensive than us. Actually, a smaller version of this with, like, uh, better optimized lasers might actually be a pretty decent uh, starter craft. Uh, simply because, like, well... No, this basic the the deep water guard is generally speaking not laser proof at all. So yeah, that's a it'll be a pretty good starter crop. Smaller version. It's got to be a smaller version of this, and perhaps with a laser turret. Am I actually thinking of ways to make a decent laser starting vehicle? I have thought of that before, actually. It would be an interesting thing. But yeah, for those of you who are really fond of the power of disco. Treat yourself, make a laser broadsider at one point, like a fixed broadsider. Because it's so stupid, but it's so fun. Come on, fry that advanced cannon, that's the only thing threatening you. Also, this thing's now really slow, because I believe... Oh yeah, we, um... What did we do? What did we do? Yeah, there's like, we've completely fried one of the pedals. So yeah, each one individually, every one of those lasers is really terrible. But that's why there's... how many of them? That's why there's 15 of them. Also, I really like just making this thing semi-symmetrical, but not really. That's what all these little spikes on the side are for. I'm trying to think of aesthetics ahead of time in me craft. I don't know what this video is. Look at this dumb thing I made. Applaud this dumb thing I made. But only if you feel like it. Also, tell me about the dumb things you have made. The things that were dumb but made you happy. We are really doing a number on this plunderer. Too much of a number, in fact. Actually, nah. There's no... What am I saying? There's no... It's also kind of annoying how the lasers kind of fire in bursts because of how... Well, I guess just because of how things roll. How things roll. Just we're naturally moving around to the broadside. What block are you aiming at, honey? Oh no, we're losing custom jets. Our steering is going to be reduced. Oh yeah, I'm getting very, very fond of just using uh, the main propulsion, uh, pulling double duty as steering. Getting very fond of it. Actually, come to think of it, like a hundred and a hundred and like close to a hundred and forty. Um, uh-oh, thousand materials. Wow, did that cram cannon actually hit her? No, it didn't. We would have lost our whole bum if it had. This is, this, I, this puts a grin on my face. And my soul. And my trousers. That sounded weird. So anyway, laser broadsider. Uh, great fun, do recommend. Not entirely sure what possessed me to do this, but, um... Yeah, I should make Next time I have a go at adventure mode. Did I mention I had a go at adventure mode? I did. It didn't go very well, because I had no idea what I was doing. But that's to be expected. Next time I do adventure mode, I might just, um... 
make something like this. <laughs> because it's hilariously stupid. So anyway, uh, that's what I've been up to. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this weird fun video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.